girl i am so nervous right now i know like some guys watch me but i call guys girl too like i just be saying girl like i'll be talking to jordan and i'd be like girl <laughs> Um, anyways, I'm so nervous right now because I just got done uploading my recent video. Now, if you watched my recent video, you know how important but also how scary it is for me to upload that video. Um, I was very vulnerable and I mentioned some very important things. Um, so I do hope you guys tune into that video. I'm just really nervous uploading it. I haven't made it public. Um but it's uploaded so we'll see how i feel when it's public for everybody to see it's just a little bit too early to make it public i don't think anybody watches youtube at like 10 o'clock in the morning one thing i did mention in that video is that going forward i do want to change my content i want to do content that truly makes me happy and i want to do content that's more easy flowing for me um, more natural settings more of my natural lifestyle so like today we're just gonna be talking and cleaning girl just talking and cleaning ain't much going on just talking and cleaning it ain't gonna be too much cleaning lock it seriously we just got back from a walk but her paws are wet so i had to put her in her cage because baby they gotta dry before you get on my floor part of the reason why i gotta mop my floor today is her little nasty paws i just let her be a puppy though i just let her be a puppy except for when them paws is wet like ugh. Anyways, what was I saying? Talking and cleaning is all that's going on today. Girl talk, one-on-one -on -one time, super fun. Um, I've never done a video like this, but I really want to do it. Anyways, I don't have much cleaning to do, but the smartest way to clean is as soon as you see a mess starting to accumulate, get it. Get it done. Get her done. Because once you let that pile up, it just gets so unmotivating and you get so stressed out and stress just makes you tired. When you are tense all the time, it steals your energy. When you have no energy, you cannot be you. Stress will steal your life. And if we don't learn to slow down in life, as well we'll miss a lot of lessons which are blessings and we'll miss out on a lot of things that we could have learned we'll miss out on the joy of things that we usually wouldn't find joy in because like to be honest i'm just gonna start cleaning because i'm talking too much to be honest i used to love cleaning girl now i can't stand it i literally cannot stand cleaning and i think it's because somewhere along the way i started to like rush through cleaning and little do we know as humans is we tend to remember how something made us feel now if we're stressed out and we're rushing through something we didn't get a good feeling from that and we don't want to do it again so i've been slowing down while i clean and i definitely have been enjoying myself a lot more <laughs> um anyways i did mention in my recent video i've been trying things that i usually don't try i've been doing things that i usually don't do and one thing that i've seriously been enjoying is budgeting i love to see my account grow I love to see that I could survive off of just a little bit. So, your girl went to Walmart. I cannot wait to show you guys um, my beautiful kitchen because I did not remodel, but I redecorated my kitchen. I didn't really budget on that, but Jordan did like go half on most of the stuff with me. But I went to Walmart. All them expensive cleaning products, baby, we don't need it. So, I'm making my own solutions today. I hope the lighting isn't ugly. I'm making my own solutions today. Bleach and water, bleach spray. Yes, ma'am. This is a super cheap little bleach from walmart it was like two dollars literally um an off-brand fabuloso mixed with water in another bottle another cleanser and today my main focus is getting everything to be clean looking good but most of all smelling good and the best way to keep your home smelling good is to use strong smelling products and bleach and fabuloso are them too now as far as my couch smelling good i'm gonna go ahead and put some fabric softener and water in here and just spray any cloth like my couch, my shower curtains, etc., etc., and those will smell good that way. So we're gonna go ahead and get these solutions all made. As you guys can tell, I don't really have too many dishes, but girl, I don't know what happened along the way, but your girl got a little bit bougie. We gonna take it back. My mama always made her own solutions, bleach and water, fabuloso and water, whatever the heck. She used to make her own solutions because it's way cheaper that way. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of bleach in here. Ooh -wee. All right, put some water. I put hot, hot, hot water, put a good amount of water. All right, we have our bleach solution. Now let's make our Fabuloso solution. Now this was like one of the main cleaners we used growing up was Fabuloso because it smells so good. <laughs> I'm not sure why I put the water in there first this time. We a little bit all over the place. 
This just smells a little bit different than the original Fabuloso, but it still has that Fabuloso fragrance, like that nice lavender clean fragrance, and it smells so good. Now, I do put a lot of this in there because I like a strong Fabuloso spray because that stuff smells so good. When I use Fabuloso and bleach in the same day, which my mom used to use growing up, my home smells amazing, especially when I open up the windows. I just don't want to because <laughs> people around here is nosy. They always want to know what I got going on. I'm just playing. I just be feeling like I'm the main character sometimes. Like everybody listening to me. <laughs> it is what it is. Today is seriously going to be like a lot of rambling, y'all. I have a lot that I want to talk about because, girl, y'all my girls. So like I mentioned in my recent video, I want my privacy, but I also want to still connect with you guys, still talk to you guys, and still be able to bond with y'all. Got a little bit of fabric softener. I put some water up in there. Mm-hmm. I put a good amount of water because I don't want like my couches to have like fabric softener build up. And now we have all of our solutions. We are in the clear. We're gonna get started with cleaning. Now the first things that I do when I clean my kitchen is I light a candle and I put in some new wax melts because by the time I get done cleaning my kitchen, it already smells good because it has those things. We have our three solutions. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away. The most effective way I found to get wax out of a wax melter is with paper towel. It just absorbs it and you're done a lot of people say put it in the freezer cotton balls well honestly the paper towel trick is so easy and it's in and out now like i said girl we are on a budget so i did not buy the expensive wax melts i got the two wax melts that i know actually are pretty strong which is girlfriend night and cucumber melon these two are like the strongest wax melts at um walmart and like the little walmart brand but if you're not on a budget i would definitely say get these gain wax melts these are extremely strong as well as the unstoppable ones because when i tell y'all they're so strong i'm telling y'all they are so strong but budget cucumber melon yes ma'am put that up in there and we are good to go i also bought some candles now today i'm not going for like a pumpkin waffle type of scent so i'm not gonna light this candle i keep all my candles in this little drawer over here so i gotta go ahead and pick what candle i'm gonna go ahead and light up today but i will say this candle from walmart i bought two of them it's the pumpkin and waffle scented candle this is extremely extremely strong if you cannot afford bath and body works like you know halloween autumn fall scented candles pumpkin waffles get this one from great value i believe it was like three dollars or like four dollars and it's so strong my mom used to burn this exact candle or she burns it like every fall it's extremely strong y'all but since i'm not really going for that kind of smell today it's not cold enough i feel like i'm gonna go ahead and use this little cheap candle that i bought at bath and body works online it is the pink petal tea cake snip 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 light light and light it looks beautiful and it's going to be smelling amazing soon as well. Here's the other candle. I'm going to go ahead and put that away. I have some incense. My favorite incense from Walmart are the Jasmine incense. I light these at the end of my cleaning session. I bought some cheap little Glade candles. I put these in my bathroom. I got my Clorox Wonder Wand. And I bought a bunch of plugins. Now, I'm not going to lie. These plugins be running me for my money, but these are what mainly keep my home smelling good all the time because they're continuously going, which are plugins. Now, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I tend to bring up something that has like hurt me in the past and then I'll keep talking about it. Something else will come up, something else will come up to the point where I'm very upset and now I'm like living or like reliving the feelings that I had when I was done wrong or when that situation took place. And I'm gonna say this, you guys, the Bible speaks about living in the past and bringing up the past. Do not live in the past. That is one of the best things I could tell you guys is do not live in the past. Don't even bring up the past if it's going to hurt you, if it's something negative that happened. I smell these plugins in the store. These just came out. They are the Champagne Cheers, Notes of Champagne and White Peach. They just smell super fresh. But girl, please do not live in the past. It is seriously not worth it. You'll be all the way upset and now you're reliving feelings. Like you could think you forgive somebody, but then you bring up what they did and then it just spirals down to you being upset all over again. And it's just not the way to go. Like Jordan one time was like, hey, 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 we're gonna stop this conversation actually because I see you getting upset. And you tend to get upset more and more and more when you bring something up that hurts you. And we're gonna stop because it's not gonna help you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so true. Oh my goodness. So I seriously, 
This is not like an advice video, but I encourage you guys to not live in the past, stay in the present, and don't live too far in the future because it'll stress you the heck out or make you extremely unhappy and miserable. So yeah, girl, I'm budgeting, but there's also those things where I'm like, girl, I still gotta have this, I still gotta have that, which is like my plugins, sir, you know, my perfumes, you know, certain things. We cutting corners some ways, but baby, not all of them. I have the old plugins here, all the new ones over here. I'm gonna go ahead and start plugging these in. Okay, no lie, these plugins smell amazing. I cannot stand like rose or champagne kind of like fragrances, but this is so nice. I knew I was doing good. Oh, uh-uh, y'all. Y'all see how this bottle is spraying? It's a straight, okay, great. I definitely should have got the other dang bottles. It's a little cheap on doing this right now. It's a straight mink, mink up, mink. Wow, oh my gosh, anyways. Have you guys, <coughs> oh, that bleach kind of strong. I sprayed too much. Ooh, trying to be funny. Have you guys ever had like a bad dream? I low key sound like that boy. Have you ever had a dream? Have you guys ever had a dream about your family or like your boyfriend or your best friend, somebody that you care about and in the dream, they did you so dirty and they did you so wrong and you wake up with like the worst feelings towards them? Oh my gosh. So the devil is a liar, first of all. And I was just talking about on my recent video how much, you know, I realized how much my family means to me, etc., etc. And when I tell y'all, I had a dream last night about all my family. I forgot what it was about, but they was doing me hecka dirty, like they were all against me. I'm like, man, these demons be listening, but that's okay. At first I woke up and I was like sad. I'm like low-key in tears. I'm like, no, they didn't do me like that. And I'm like, girl, get in reality. You have sleep. They ain't do that. But there's been times where I woke up and treated that person funny because I had a bad dream about them that night. Like one time I had a super bad dream about um, my older brother. And <laughs> girl, I had to go to school that morning. I was so upset. I had to pray it off me, y'all. I'm not playing. I was, I was little. I was like, Lord, please don't make me feel this way towards my brother because I'm really upset. Like I'm so upset. And like the next day I felt a lot better. But oh my gosh, dreams go crazy because I was upset. Okay, I was upset. I believe demons will also try to get in your dreams to make you be against, you know, the people that really love you. Like, I know my mom is my biggest supporter, but I've had dreams where she's doing me so dirty and I'm like, this is not my mom. Like, I literally have to snap out of it and be like, what the heck? That is totally not my mom. Like, you are crazy. I am not believing that. At first, it hurts your feelings. Um, like, I'm sure my mom has had dreams about me um, trying to put us against each other, but no, man, I love my family. I did. Mm -hmm. And I believe in things like that because I know the spiritual battle is very serious. I know how serious the spiritual battle is. And let me tell y'all something. If, I, if I'm gonna be the one to remind y'all, I'll be the one to remind y'all. Listen, ooh, just splash that all over me. Every day is a fight. Every day is a fight. Just because you did good yesterday don't mean that today you ain't gonna have to fight as well. Every day is a spiritual battle. Every day is a spiritual fight. And if you're not woke, you will not understand what's going on with you every day. You will not understand what's going on around you. You will not understand why you're going through the things that you're going through. The spiritual battle is honestly how it is right now. Girl, it's crazier than ever. These demons are trying to get our mind more than ever because if they get our mind, they got our whole entire body. And now we on the wrong side, repping the wrong side, letting them have their way. And then when the Lord comes back, we like, I wasted all that time for the one minute pleasure. And all these people are going up to live with Christ in heaven to be the happiest they've ever been. No pain, no sadness, no hurt, no sorrow, no crying, no struggle, no poverty, no famine. All right? Streets of gold, baby. Everlasting happiness. We gotta wake up and stop letting every little thing change our mood. As I preach to you, I'm preaching to myself because let me tell y'all something. I'm a very sensitive person. When 
you take things slow, you really don't get as angry as you would if you weren't taking it slow. Little things like this water just jumped out on my shirt and it low key stained it. Hopefully the stain comes out, but I'm not gonna get upset. Why? Because you kind of have to realize ah, three months from now or even tomorrow, is it really gonna matter? No, it's not. So it's not worth it to get upset over every little thing. Seriously, it's really not. And I tend to do that. Why? Because I rush through life. I rush and rush through life. Now, the reason why a lot of us rush through life is because we are stressing way too much. Now, when you stress and you are all tense, you also become self-centered. You ain't worried about what anybody else, anybody else's feelings, what anybody else got going on. And the Lord called us to love one another. You know, if, if we had love, love is patient, love is kind, all you need is love. If our whole entire life was focused on loving and being a vessel of love, we wouldn't have the problems that we usually have. Love is literally the answer to everything. And babe, I have a hard time with that. I'm not gonna lie, why? Because I be thinking I'm the main character sometimes. Like girl, it's me. It's all about me. And yes, I'm being heavily lazy today because I do not feel like bringing out my straw cleaner. So I'm literally just gonna like pour soap down it. <laughs> Go back and forth with the water. We got dirty straws today. <laughs> I'm just being honest, I do that a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Jordan's really like the only person that takes out the time to like clean those straws like that. Ah, I don't want to. that when I'm rushing through life, I don't hear the Holy Spirit guiding me. I don't hear wisdom speaking to me because I'm rushing. When you calm down, you literally get to hear the Holy Spirit speak to you and you get to hear wisdom speaking. Okay, so right now, first of all, I just got done decorating my whole entire kitchen. It's beautiful. Lock it, come here, get out of my office, get out of my office. I just got done decorating my kitchen. Now, I'm the kind of person that if I do something, I wanna do it fully or not at all. I wanna go crazy with it, and I wanna keep going until I feel satisfied, all right? I just got done decorating my kitchen. It's so beautiful, but we all know my dining room needs some love. I don't have anything in there, no dining table, no decoration, nothing, just a dog cage. <sighs> so, seeing my kitchen, I really wanted to get my dining done, my dining room done, so I went on Amazon yesterday. I found a table, very affordable. It was $200, and it matches my kitchen theme, because I kinda wanna like do like a matching thing and I was gonna buy it but then I had to slow down I slowed down and I thought and I heard the Lord he's like listen that $200 table it's a good deal wait and I will tell you when it's time to get it but I need you to wait and I'm like why I don't want to wait it's $200 like it's not that serious he was like oh but I know you and the thing is you get that table now you want a rug to go underneath it when you get the rug you want table decor once you get the table decor, you're gonna want wall decor. That 200 easily flipped to a 1500. Gotta listen to the Lord, I'm telling you, he will guide you. And if you feel like you ain't got no strength right now, wait on the Lord, y'all ever heard that song? Wait on the Lord, he will renew your strength. So wait, I say, wait on the Lord. Hope I got the lyrics right, but uh, <laughs> wait on the Lord, he will renew your strength. I dry my um, dishes with paper towels because I do not like clutter. I like an empty kitchen. I like it to be empty, my counter space to be empty. I have some beautiful decorations that I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys, but other than that, I like an empty kitchen. I do not like a dish rack. I don't like it. I love an empty counter space. It just makes it feel like so much more clean and just, I don't know, I love it. Um, I also want to say that I miss a lot of, okay, so you know when you ask the Lord for patience, he gonna have to give you something to, you know, to test you out, test your patience, patience, all right? We don't realize stuff. 
We be so conceited or whatever the heck. And we be so worried about our own self. Listen, I be praying for patience, right? But then I get in the store, it's people in line, but I don't want to wait for the people in line. So now I'm irritated and I got an attitude. What's the point? Test the patience. Be calm. It's okay. You'll get there and you'll be able to check out. Little things like that. All right? But baby, the dishes are done. I always feel amazing when my dishes are done. I'm going to go ahead and start doing my wipe downs. Ooh, with the fabuloso and a little bit of bleach. Got to smell it nice. Windex is so effective for like stainless steel appliances and stuff, you guys. But when I tell you guys, I also know that your focus can be so off. Like you can get so focused on work, prioritizing work, not prioritizing the Lord. And get so caught up in wanting more and more and more. And not being happy with what you have. There is a difference between settling and being content and grateful for what you have, okay? There's a very big difference. And I tell you what, you guys, this time off of work and this time away from YouTube, I'm so grateful for every little thing that I have. I literally was tearing up the other day thanking the Lord Jesus Christ for my car, my little baby car, my beautiful apartment. I'm so grateful. And sometimes you can get so off track and your focus is so off that you're no longer grateful for what you were once grateful for. How the heck do we expect to keep praying for things, asking for things, and we ain't even grateful for the things he gave us? That's just showing him that we're not going to be grateful for the things that he's going to bless us with that we want right now. The Lord say if you do good with a little, he, he'll make you responsible over a lot more. And that's with money. That's with your home. That's with your car. That applies to honestly every blessing. You know, we have to be grateful for the things that he blesses us with. Y'all, I love my microfiber washcloths. I wipe everything down with these microfiber things, y'all. I tell you what, they get things shiny, looking good. I actually have a whole pack of microfiber washcloths up on my Amazon storefront. Girl, do I love my microfiber washcloths. I tell you what. Mm -mm -mm. But yes, um, I'm so grateful. And a grateful heart is a happy heart. I'm so grateful for what I have. You know, sometimes we get... Girl, <laughs> sometimes we get so caught up in wanting more, we don't realize that where we are, we prayed for. We get so caught up in the future, the future, the future, that we don't realize that what we're living, we prayed for and cried for and asked for and had anxiety thinking we'd never get here. And that's financially, spiritually, mentally, whatever the heck, y'all. Ooh, there's some old ice cream from last night. Oh my gosh, that looks disgusting. Oh my gosh. Oh. I turned that ring light off so you guys could see like the beauty of my kitchen. Um, but these are my super cute little decorations. Everything's gonna look so much better when I get done cleaning. But girl, this kitchen looks so good. Like when I tell y'all, I feel like I did such a good job on this kitchen. And this kitchen is not just seasonal. I want this like all year round. So it's not just like fall vibes. Like it's fall vibes, but it's not just for fall. I've actually always wanted this theme in my kitchen. Um, I just really have not been wanting to spend the money on all of this stuff because honestly, like this whole entire kitchen cost me over $300. Well, not me, Jordan and I. I've really just been working on being more grateful. I really do not like these spray bottles because it comes out so fast. Minka, like what's happening right now? But I've seriously been working on being grateful for who the Lord placed in my life. You know, my mom, my siblings, um, my boyfriend, Jordan. I have a really hard time saying boyfriend. I cannot stand that word. Um, for some reason, I just feel like it sounds dumb. Only because like, no shade, but I said this before, I've had a, I had a sibling that um, always had a new boyfriend, was always some kind of domestic violence going on. It's just always just like, ugh, so much stuff going on with boyfriend. And it's ugly to me. That's just me. I say it a little bit better now because I'm getting used to it. But anyways, I have been waking up every morning thanking the Lord Jesus Christ for the people that he has set in my life. I'm so grateful for the man that he has set in my life. And I tell you what, don't rush into having people in your life. Don't try to go out there and make friends. Let the Lord guide your life. Let the Lord put the right people in your life. Because let me tell you something. The people that I chose to be in my life were extremely toxic. The people that the Lord sent in my life have helped me, benefited me, been there for me, and vice versa. So I don't know, I've just been really working on being grateful for the people that are in my life. Um, because my mom, when I tell y'all my mom is an amazing mom, and I'll say this, having such good parents growing up, I mean having such a good mom growing up, I definitely take her for granted at times. Because you just feel like, okay, you're a mom, you're supposed to do this stuff. No, 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 no. Then when I look at other girls' moms and other males' moms, and they're like, man, I wish I had your mom. Like, man, my mom does not support me. I'm like, wow, my little ungrateful butt. Girl, get your life together. 
My dad could just get done cussing her out, calling her all kinds of names, treating her bad, putting his hands on her, and my mama would still be super patient with us and super kind to us and still get her schoolwork done and just be a mom. And I love her to death for it, man. I tell you what, because she was the only consistency and balance in my life growing up because one minute my dad could be okay and the next minute he wasn't, you know? So, I don't know. I give my mom mad props, but see, she is such a strong woman. Such a strong woman. We gotta listen to our parents, y'all, for real. I remember telling my mom that I just felt like, you know, with how the days are nowadays, um, I've never really cared too much about the whole dating scene, but eventually it was gonna happen. Oops, I just fell out my, oh, a uh, stick of butter. Okay. Um, but I told my mom that, like, in this day and age, like, I just feel like I'm gonna have to go through some heartbreak before I find, or before the man that's supposed to be with me finds me because it says the man that finds a you know a good wife finds a good thing that finds a wife finds a good thing and i remember her being like girl that's not gonna happen the lord's gonna send you the right man that is not gonna happen he's gonna adore you he's gonna love you and he's gonna be a man of god and that's what happened i am so obsessed with these placemats i bought at myers it's a grocery shopping store you guys these are so cute so if you guys are wondering where i got all my decorations from walmart and myers do not touch my lantern hey I got all of my decorations from Walmart and Myers. I'm so proud of myself though because I didn't know that I could decorate this good. Like I did such a good job in my kitchen. I gotta get some fabric um, disinfected because this girl does not wanna not be on my couch. She always wants to be on my dang couch. Like girl, I can't believe I've been buying all that expensive bleach. This bleach smells and works just like the other bleaches y'all. And it's so cheap. And for that big old bottle of bleach that I bought, I can make so many different solutions with that bottle of bleach. Ooh, girl, my kitchen is looking so good. I love a clean kitchen. Mm-hmm. Now all I gotta do is sweep and bring my little Swiffer out and mop. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what my kitchen looks like as well. Cause when I tell y'all, I was not expecting for myself to do this good on my kitchen. Like, the decor's so nice. To all my young women and young men out there, here's some quick advice. Listen, do not rush into life. Whether it's a pet, whether it's a baby, Whatever the heck, do not rush into life. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I love my locket, but sometimes she is so much and I don't wanna be bothered. And sometimes I'm just like, man, this little girl. So, I'm gonna say this. And I'll also tell my children if I ever had children. Uh-uh, don't you rush into life. Do not rush into life trying to tack on responsibilities that you don't need. Sometimes I'm tired a little bit early, but I still gotta make sure she gets outside. Sometimes I wanna sleep in. But she's got to eat and she's got to go on a walk. And it's just like, ugh, sometimes. So I would say, do not rush into life. I've heard people say it, but it went in one ear and went out the other. I love my dog. I love her so much. And she really is helpful because I do spend a lot of time alone. So having my baby with me is very, you know, amazing. But all I'm saying is do not rush into life. That's all I'm saying. Walk it, get back girl, it's wet. Get back. I don't want you slipping. Actually, I should probably put you in your cage cause the floor is gonna be wet. Come here, baby. No lie, those plugins have my dang home smelling so amazing right now, you guys. But I wanted to go ahead and do like a quick little tour of my kitchen because I put in some cool decorations. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys where I got everything. Um, I got this plant a while back off of Amazon, but I bought this at Myers. I bought all of these placemats at Myers. I bought the little lantern thing at Walmart, the bicycle and the candle from Walmart, this sign and this little vase thing from Myers. I had to go ahead and match up the hand soap and the hand lotion in here. Um, these two signs are from Walmart. That one is this. I mean, that one is from Walmart as well. All of these are from Myers. That thankful sign is from Myers. These towels are from Myers. This rug is a bathroom rug, but it's from Myers. Um, candle, obviously Bath and Body Works. And then this cute little wax warmer is from Myers as well. But listen, you guys, please pay attention. 
to the decorations because your girl has gotten so much better. I am so obsessed with my kitchen and I'm also very grateful for it. Um, the best investments I've ever made in life was decorating my house. I definitely got to get me um, some kind of like fabric sanitizer. I've seen some at Walmart, you know, I've just been budgeting so I really ain't been buying that much stuff, but I definitely got to get me some um, laundry or fabric sanitizer because she be all up on this dang couch and you know her little nasty paws be outside. This girl be eating my scrunchies, she be eating my socks. She likes my scrunchies and my socks more than she likes her own toys, y'all. <gasps> oh my gosh, y'all, now I'm upset because I have to go to the store and I have to go buy a new spray bottle for the fabric softener because girl, who's spraying fabric softener like that straight on the couch? Ha! We need a mist. Now I'm kind of upset because now I gotta go to like Dollar Tree or something sometime soon to go ahead and get a real spray bottle because that spray bottle, I can use it for cleaning. You know, I, I know how to rig things, but I sure can't rig that fabric softener in there though because it would just leave stains on my pillows and stains on my couch, which I could not do. So that definitely sucks, but that's all right. I have some, some sprays that I could spray on the couch. Feeling like a failure is one of the worst feelings in the world. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my couch with this Snuggle fabric spray. Um, one of the worst feelings in the world. And it's very common um, today and these days because of social media. You have people that fake it on social media or you have people that are doing things for short term money, whatever the heck, and it makes us feel like we are behind in life and we don't realize that our story is not their story. And we also don't realize that these demons use social media as well to make you feel that way. Because once you feel like a failure, you will act like a failure. Whatever you are meditating on, you will move towards. So if you're constantly meditating on the thought that you are a failure and you're not where you need to be, you will behave like failures do, which is doing nothing because it can stress you out so bad to the point where it paralyzes you. Thanks mom for the paper towel and the tissue. My mom dropped these off yesterday to me. She's so nice. <laughs> Take care of her sister. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, these Crocs are so dirty. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me go get some paper towel and some type of cleaner because baby, them Crocs look like, ooh. Oh, Y'all, my Crocs are dirty. Look at this. And they have like hair and like sticky stuff on it. I don't think it's giving it justice, but oh my gosh. <sighs> I'll go ahead and get that all cleaned up. But you guys, I have a super funny story. So I told you guys in the past that my family and I, we all live in like a circle. We're all very, you know, close to each other, blah, 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 blah. Well, I was on FaceTime with my mom the other day and my brother was making, my little brother Brent, he was making some waffles and he was listening to my mom and I's FaceTime call. Well, I don't know where like this super big, long red beetle comes from behind my trash can and I'm screaming bloody murder. Like I'm not joking, like I was so scared. So scared. I don't know where. I hear my ring camera. Um, someone is at your door. My brother was at my house. No shoes, no shirt. He ran to my home in a matter of like two seconds because he said my scream sounded like a really dangerous scream, like a scream that somebody was screaming if somebody was like in their house. So he thought somebody was in my house. He ran here so fast, I could not believe it. No shoes, no nothing, it was raining outside. Y'all, that boy came to my house in no time. He dropped the pancake mix and everything, y'all. Right on the flow. But yeah, I thought that junk was so funny and the beetle was so ugly. Oh my cracks look so good. The beetle was so freaking ugly. I literally cannot stand beetles. Like I feel like I could do better with a spider than a dang beetle. I'm gonna go ahead and link his channel down below. Y'all make sure to go ahead and congratulate him because he just won his first fight, his first boxing match. My brother is a boxer. He works very hard at what he does every single day of his life and he won his first fight. When I tell y'all he did so good, a lady had came up to our table. Um, My mom and I were sitting across from each other and a lady, one of her sons were fighting as well. She came up to our table and was like, oh my gosh, that little boy can fight. That boy can fight. We were like, yeah, it's his first fight. She was like, her whole entire body like paused. She was like, his first fight? Okay, yep, that boy going places, cause wow. So he won his first fight. I'm so proud of him. It's only up from here and it's just amazing. It was a late night, but it was very fun. And I really enjoyed myself at the fight. And most of all, I'm so glad my brother won. Y'all should have heard me screaming. So y'all just make sure to go ahead and congratulate him. Yes.
Yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 ma'am. I'm so grateful for the time that I have been able to take off of work. I'm grateful that I could afford a break because yes, I shop a lot, but I also save a lot of money. So it's very helpful, you know, if I need a break. But I'm gonna tell you this. Another reason why I'm grateful is because learning what I want in life, learning the life that's gonna really make me happy. The most wanted lifestyle is the LA, Miami kind of lifestyle, the fast life, the fast life, the fast life. I don't want the fast life. I like the Michigan life. It's calm. At one point, I was so ungrateful for Michigan. I love Michigan, you guys. The kind of lifestyle I want is buy a house, have some decent cars, if I decide to have children, cool. Gardening, calm lifestyle, family oriented. I don't wanna worry about my looks and all this curvy stuff and going to the club and trying to be cute and trying to be the most popular. I don't want it. Because when you are the most popular, and you want to be the best of the best of the best, you have to serve. You have to be a slave because you have to please. I don't want it. I want a nice, calm, content lifestyle. Home, my family, gardening, cookouts, Bible studies, just an amazing, peaceful life that I'm really going to enjoy. I'm grateful, y'all. I'm grateful. I know what's most important, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ and your family. You okay? Are you okay? Oh my goodness. She's throwing up. She's throwing up. Let mommy clean it. Come here, baby. You're okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mommy will clean it. Oh, honey. This is so gross. I'm just trying to be nice because I know you don't feel well. That is so weird. She just got done throwing up on her toys. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these toys in the washer, you guys. Oh my goodness, my baby don't feel good. I'm gonna clean her bed too, y'all. Might as well, cause it's dirty. I'm gonna take your bed too, baby. So she just got done throwing up. So I'm gonna go ahead, I put her toys in the washer that she threw up on. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bed out. Go over there, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bed out and put it in the washer as well with some laundry sanitizer. And then when the floors are all dry, I'm gonna clean her cage because she can't be on the floor right now because I'm getting ready to go ahead and mop. And she is not a very big fan of being without her bed, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all that off rip. She is not a big fan of going without her bed. She does not like hard surfaces. So that's why she has so many plushy toys, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and put some pine saw in there. Pine saw will disinfect and also get rid of any odor. deep cleaning so I ain't picking up no shoes I ain't picking up no baskets I actually mop pretty consistently with my old cedar mop um this is just kind of like a run over where I just run over my floors real fast just to maintain my floors and maintain them you know not feeling nasty on my feet because one of my pet peeves is <laughs> a nasty floor and her little paws to get my floor nasty y'all but yeah girl I'm getting into the whole decor thing I got my door decorated outside it looks so good you guys I got the best looking door around here I'm not gonna lie I've seen some of these people out here try to copy my door baby ain't no competition honey because I know what I'm doing I'm just playing I'm being guided by the Lord and I'm grateful that's it I don't want to take credit for nothing because all good things come from the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah thank you Jesus I'm not gonna lie I've had an amazing time cleaning talking to you guys and this is the kind of content that I'm talking about you guys the kind of content that I enjoy doing the kind of content that I really have fun and don't really feel like I'm working you know what I mean it smells so fresh oh my gosh my home smells so good I'm telling y'all it smells so good and here yes ma'am I love it I love a clean home y'all I'm gonna go ahead and light up these incense that I bought the other day. I love incense, you guys. My mom burned them all growing up, so it really just brings back memories. Um, and I don't believe in all that, you know, stuff that these incense do. I do it for fragrance, and I know that the Lord is all about motive, so I'm not sure about what people be talking about about incense. Some people try to get smart with me about using incense, claiming I'm not a real Christian, any of that weird stuff, I ain't got time for it. I ain't sitting up here charging crystals at the first of the month. I ain't blowing cinnamon and powder into my house. Cause I've heard about all of that weird stuff. The only truth is in Jesus Christ, and that is what it is, baby. And I'm gonna stand firm on being a child of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, anyways, my incense—they smell amazing. 
These are very strong. Now, if you could not afford an incense holder, my mama never had one. All she did was put it underneath the soap. Underneath the soap, the soap will hold it, and all the ashes will go into the sink. Girl, ooh, it smells so good. The smell of incense are so comforting to me, y'all, because I really did grow up with incense. Like, my mom used to burn an incense, like, every single day. It smells amazing. I don't do it for all of that other stuff, like I just said. Um, my last tech, I had went into the salon, and I was like, ooh, girl, you burning an incense. It smells so good in here. She was like, yeah, I'm trying to get the bad energy out. I'm like, look, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. -mm. That is not why I burn incense. I burn them straight for the fragrance. I'm like, yeah, I just like them because they smell good, honey. I ain't got time for all that. Mm -mm. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord Jesus Christ only. I don't believe in no stick and no smoke that's going to help some, some crystals that he made. The Lord made the crystals. <laughs> why did I just realize that? Hold on. Folks be sitting up here acting like some crystals and some dang incense is going to save their household, going to save something. Baby, the Lord made it. What are you doing? Blowing cinnamon and jumping their dang house. The Lord made that too. I don't get it. I know I probably sound like crazy judgmental, but I promise y'all I'm not judging. I genuinely do find it funny. And it's confusing to me only because I'm really woke, but you're never too woke to not have sympathy for people because I genuinely do have sympathy for those people only because they're searching for something to get some kind of comfort and some kind of ease and it's never going to work. It's all about your mental. I recently deep cleaned this bathroom, so this bathroom is actually very clean. It's honestly rarely used unless Jordan uses it, so very clean, very clean. Nothing much going on, y'all. My apartment is looking amazing. It literally smells so amazing as well, you guys. Oh my gosh, the floors feel really good. My poor baby, I really feel so sad. My poor baby, that is my baby girl is my baby girl yeah y'all she's a very big responsibility but i love 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 her what you guys see her turn her little head <laughs> girl this bun looks so terrible but i'm just underneath my uh kitchen sink or whatever i make it a mess but i'm underneath here and um this green microfiber cloth is the one that i used today with the bleach on it and when i tell you guys it literally has this whole entire area smelling like um a hotel pool and i cannot be the only one that literally loves the smell of a hotel pool like that chlorine smell and it smells exactly like that underneath here you guys oh my gosh i'm kind of obsessed <laughs> my bathroom is so beautiful i literally love this dang bathroom I decorated this bathroom on one of my vlogs, but one of the recent things that I added were these super cute little green leaves. Oh my gosh, I love this bathroom. It's so beautiful. Let me go ahead and grab a lighter because I'm gonna go ahead and light that candle. I usually keep it over here. Yes, ma'am. I got a camera battery and everything. My little donut lighter. I'm just gonna go ahead and like wipe down the counters or whatever. Everything's already cleaned and wiped down. I just cleaned this bathroom the day before yesterday. That's what it was. So it's really not bad at all. The only annoying part about this dang bathroom is the white rugs. I literally have to um, wash the white rugs so much. Like, oh my gosh, so much. Like every four to five days, they have to be washed. Now that may not be a lot for y'all, but that is a lot for me because baby, I ain't washing the rugs all the dang time, all right? And if I I didn't try my hardest to keep them white and clean I have to wash them every two days like no lie it's so annoying but yes ma'am ain't much to do in here at all it's just kind of like wiping things down maybe spray some concentrated room spray just little things like the soap kind of running down from here I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off somebody's taking a shower above me y'all hear that noise people with apartments no people with apartments no Ew, why is that so dark right there the soap I use is purple like a light purple that's weird Yes, I'll just be using a Windex since I already have it. Might as well just go ahead and wipe off these counters with it, y'all. Nothing serious, nothing serious, nothing serious. My bathroom counter, like in this master bath, since I get ready in this bathroom every single day, these counters get so cluttered because I have so many products and so many things that I use to get ready. Oh my goodness, I'll tell y'all what. But yeah, this bathroom is just fine. I'm going to go ahead and spray some of this white t-shirt room concentrated spray or concentrated room spray. And girl, we are in the clear. This bathroom is all clean. Vibes, vibes, vibes. I literally love this bathroom. Oh, my goodness. I'm obsessed with it. Like, I could spend, like, all my time in here. Oops, that was the fan. Girl, I rarely ever make my bed. I know it sounds terrible, but I rarely ever make it. Like, this is the way that I make it consistently. Like, I do this, 
but I never ever make it like actually make it make it because girl I just don't care no more I just do this put some pillows on top and call it a day and y'all know I have two different comforters so I just kind of like stack them on top of each other um but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, put the cover on, throw some pillows on there, and we are good to go. It's still going to look good. Just throw them on there. Everything looks so good though, you guys. I mean, this is probably like the worst looking room only because I didn't put too much time into it. But everything looks amazing, you guys. Yes, ma'am. I'm so excited. This baby in her big old cage. Um, taking her bed up, I see how dirty her cage is. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that out when I get her um, little bed out and everything. So she'll have a whole brand new clean area. My favorite part of my home is obviously my kitchen. I think we can all agree this is like the prettiest part of my home. Yes, ma'am. It's looking good. We are completely done. I am satisfied to the fullest and so happy. It smells amazing here, you guys. Like I'm talking top of the tier of the A1. Girl, I cannot be the only one that when I bend down, my knees crack. I cannot be the only one. Anyway, I love every single one of you guys. We have completed today's cleaning session slash talk session. I had an amazing time. I'm so satisfied with how my home looks. It looks amazing. It feels amazing. I got the window open. Well, the shades open. Um, I had an amazing time, you guys. I really did. It was just like talking to a girlfriend. I really didn't get much response back because yeah but i enjoy myself and that's all that matters i love every single one of you guys god bless you all in jesus name and it's time for your girl to go oh wait if you have like a little bitty mess i'm not sure if i said this but if you have a little mess just get it done get it done that mess over there in your corner just pick it up just pick it up before it gets worse i love you goodbye